How do medical bills like that not bankrupt an Amish family? Do they have health insurance? So the way that works in Amish is you don't pay anything in unless it's needed. We had in our community about six or eight different communities that we had, say, like unions with. We had dealings with them, basically. And whenever there was a big hospital bill or a big bill in one of those communities, every family in all six or eight of the communities would chip in a little bit of money towards that, that end goal, and they would help pay that bill. And then another thing we would do is have benefit auctions. So those benefit auctions work, you know, we'd have to pay the auctioneers a little bit, but a lot of people just donated stuff. But even if you consigned items to the auction, you know, you could get some of the money back. But the consignment fee was a little higher than normal, but a lot of people consigned stuff to the benefit auction because the proceeds went to help pay hospital bills. And usually they do pretty good on those benefit auctions, and they can pay off some, some really hefty hospital bills with the um, proceed, or the revenue that they bring in from those benefit auctions. And another thing they do, if you go to the hospital with cash and you just say, hey, how much will you settle this bill for? They'll usually settle for a fraction of the cost, you know, if you pay it all right now. And so that's one way they save money as well. And then if there's a fire, somebody's house burns down, you know, all the communities help chip in and they help, you know, pay for that cost of rebuilding the house. But like when I broke my elbow and I had surgery, I think the... It was about a $13,000 hospital bill. We didn't ask for help with that. We just paid that off ourselves. It took about, I think, three or four years my parents had that paid off. So thank you. Hopefully that answers your question.